Hello, wildlings. I'm your Creepsmith, and you found my Fear Forge. <laughs> Lucky you. Tonight's tale, humming. These sounds that I've become accustomed to, they didn't used to belong here. A long time ago, a time with memories either lost or false, these sounds were foreign. They didn't make sense to me. They only came in the middle of the day. Everyone would be home, the lights on, radio blaring. My brother and sister would be yelling at each other, but there was one sound that didn't blend together with the rest. It stood out, but only to me. It was nothing too startling, just a low humming noise. It bothered me. A lot. I felt like it penetrated my ears, got into my head. I asked everyone else if they heard it, and of course the answer was no. My mother told me that she'd make an appointment to get my ears checked. Tinnitus, maybe? That satisfied me well enough at the time. After a few hours, I couldn't help but complain again. The noise just wouldn't stop. I turned up the music, and that dulled the sound, but I could still hear it slightly. At this point, I couldn't take it anymore, so I decided to investigate. I walked around the house, expecting the humming to, at some point, get louder in one of the rooms, maybe? And when I came to the kitchen, she was standing at the stove, cooking. Immediately, I was relieved. I realized that it had been the stove the whole time. She finished cooking soon after and turned the stove off. I was confused and frustrated as the humming persisted. I planned to tell my family as we sat down to dinner. I sat down in my usual place right beside my mother, and the noise was even louder then. That's when I caught it. I looked over and I didn't see my mother. There was a white being, I guess you could say, sitting down in the chair next to me. It was hunched over because from the look of its spine, which you could clearly see, it didn't have a choice. I fell out of my own chair in horror, and it looked straight at me. I say the word looked like that because it had nothing to look at me with. I think there had probably been eyes there at one time, as you could see through the skin that had grown over the sockets. There were random patches of long hair sprouting out of its head, and they were completely plastered to the face. It had no nose, only two diagonal slits. There was a mouth, but no lips. It was gaping open, and you could see what was left of its teeth and tongue. I'd finally discovered the source of the humming. The torturous noise was streaming out of its gaping maw like a speaker. Of course, I ran out of the house. I ran until my lungs felt like they were full of acid. I stopped. My mind started working a bit. I had left my brother and sister behind. Ignoring the burning in my chest, I ran back as quickly as my feet would move. And when I got back, I looked at my mother. She looked normal now, but I could still hear the humming. I grabbed my brother and sister by the wrists and I pulled them away with minimal effort. They didn't say anything, didn't resist, didn't even look at me. When we got outside, I yelled at them. Run! We have to get out of here! Then, I heard it. The humming. It was coming from them as well. I was too late to save them. Now, I know that they had been like that for years. So now, here I am. I can't leave them behind. They're my family. I love them. I've gotten used to seeing their true forms out of the corner of my eye. 
I, I've gotten used to the sight of them digging through the skin over their eyes, though I don't know why they do it. There's never anything there when they finally tear the flesh off. I've even gotten used to the humming. Now I remember hearing my brother complain about the same thing when, when he was younger. I wish I'd paid more attention then. I'm getting paler. My hair is falling out. I can't see anymore. And I can feel my eyes decaying. I hear the humming coming from my own throat now. It's faint, but it's definitely there. I used to wonder what I was becoming. I gave up on that a while ago, though. Now I'm sitting here with the dull blade that I found in the kitchen. I keep slicing, but there's nothing coming out of my wrists. I don't feel anything. I pray to every god that I can think of to make me mortal again so I can end it before I become like them. They haven't answered yet. I guess I'll just keep praying. So remember kids, there may come a time in your life when you find yourself becoming something that you don't want to be. But unlike our protagonist here, you have a choice. Stay scary my wildlings. Remember, be who you want to be no matter how much effort it takes make the most of your nights.